slide I think you've all seen, but it's, I, I'm going to come back to the year of the truck for a moment because Pathfinder is playing a very important role for us in, in this year of the truck because, this, first of all, it's, a, it's one of our legendary uh, uh, long-standing brands that means a lot to Nissan and to our customers, but this segment is a very competitive segment. We've seen a lot of competitive activity from a product standpoint. It's growing. Um, so we we think that it's not only imperative that we bring out a fresh product, but it's the right time to do it. And so let me tell you, uh, before before I get into to that, though, I want to take a step back. We haven't given you an update on the brand performance this year, and so we want to take a moment to do that. And uh, it's something we're very proud of. Nissan is uh, the fastest growing brand, full line brand, in the industry this year. Um, and you can see on the left hand side of this slide, the brands that are driving that growth. Maxima and Murano, both all new last year, are on fire. Maxima more than doubling sales, Murano up nearly 40%. Frontier is actually gaining share in uh, a segment that is among the fastest growing in the industry. Even though it's one of our older products, there's still a tremendous amount of interest in it and it's really, um, it's really performing very well in the, in the market. Centra is doing well. Rogue is among the fastest growing brands in the entire industry from a volume standpoint. Uh, and our commercial vehicles, NB200 in particular, is, uh, is, is performing well. And June, the, this most recent month, uh, really saw business even accelerate beyond what we've seen year to date. Total sales of nearly 130,000 units, up over 13%. Rogue uh, had the best month ever at over 29,000 units of volume. Altima still um, our volume leader at over 30,000 units. And our subcompact Versa brand continues to grow, continues to be the best selling subcompact brand in the US. So uh, that leaves us with an 8.5% market share. And I'll, I'll just reiterate it again because it's something that you know we're, we're proud of. That we're the fastest growing full line brand in the U.S. And we think that we're well positioned with all of the activity from year of the truck to continue that momentum through the second half of our fiscal year uh, with the new Titan, with the Pathfinder, with Armada, with the future announcements that we have coming out. Um, we are very well positioned, not only to continue the momentum, but to take advantage of this consumer uh, shift from cars to trucks that we've talked about already. So um, that's Nissan uh, as a brand in our performance year to date. So let me uh, now move back to Pathfinder. Pathfinder is, uh, I mentioned, one of our long-standing brands. It's a brand that, uh, we have that has a tremendous amount of equity in the market. Um, we've sold more than uh, a million and a half Pathfinder since we launched the brand in the U.S. 30 years ago. And since 2004, we've been building uh, all of the Pathfinders in the U.S. in Smyrna, Tennessee. So, um, and which is, I'll note, John Martin, our Senior Vice President of Manufacturing, uh, talks about this. It's the largest uh, production facility in North America. It's a huge facility. And if you haven't been there, I'd encourage you to take a trip. It's really something spectacular, even if you've been through many manufacturing plants, it's something, it's something pretty unique. Uh, but we've built nearly 700,000 Pathfinders in Smyrna since we launched the brand, uh, uh, started producing the brand in 04 there. This fourth generation Pathfinder that this mid-cycle refresh is based on, we launched in 13, and it has been a resounding success. Sales are up over 90% versus the outgoing model. So this platform is already um, performing very well in the market, but with uh, a, a minor change Pathfinder, the new pilot, a lot of competitive activity coming, we felt like it's the right time to, to, uh, to refresh uh, the platform. And so what we've done is not a normal refresh. This is among the most intensive mid-cycle uh, refreshes that we've ever undertaken. Scott will tell you in a minute about what that entails, but from front to back uh, and everything in between has been touched in some way to make it a better, more competitive product. The Pathfinder uh, and who we sell to does differ slightly from our competition. And, and it really, uh, it, it speaks to who we've targeted with Pathfinder. We have targeted families with young kids who are very active and we think the product uh, uh, really uh, meets the needs of that customer, which is why we see 
the difference in terms of who we sell to versus the segment. We sell to uh, more females. 47% of Pathfinders are sold, sold to, to women. They have, uh, more of our customers have children than the segment average. They're younger by quite a bit. They're much younger. So uh, this is a very active, family-oriented customer, and that is exactly who uh, we've targeted the product to and exactly who this mid-cycle refresh has been targeted to, which is why you see things like best-in-class towing, because this is a customer who takes their kids on vacations and they're active. and so. But, but Scott will talk more uh, about that now, so I'll bring Scott up and he can tell you about all these changes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.